Hey, how's it going? Um, just a couple things before you watch the show. Thanks for watching, first of all. Uh, I'm going to mention a couple things about the event. First of all, there are people. Um, they had a one hour instructional type demonstration every hour. So, altogether, there's going to be, I believe, six of those. Um, for those that only had two tiny speakers, I don't know what they were thinking because the whole place had a, <laughs> it was like two of the tiny speakers. So when you're watching the instructional videos, look to the left and the right and look at those little tiny speakers. You'll see they weren't very big. Uh, also, um, it was interesting. I didn't take this into account. Um, the different lighting for different animals. Certain animals had a different light intensity. Certain animals were behind glass. Certain one, things were behind plastic. Certain things were further away. Certain things were closer. So the lighting is different on a lot of different things. So I kind of wanted you guys to kind of learn with me. This is only my second or third time actually doing like an event or doing something like that. So uh, you'll see me zooming in and out for stuff that's far away, stuff that's close, and for if an animal's small or big. So certain animals you're not gonna be able to see the name because there's so many small ones where certain animals have a bigger name and you'll be able to see the name. Um, I wanted to mention that there was no money. Like, there was this guy, he was a gummy worm salesman. You'll see him on here. And I remember when I first walked in, he goes, hey man, we take cash. And I was like, all right, cool, bro. And I was thinking in my head, like, okay. And then when I go out to go look at all this delicious food, they won't take cash. So I had money in my pocket, but I couldn't actually buy any food. I could only get gummy worms. So I had gummy worms for, <laughs> for lunch or gummy sharks or something. Uh, what else? Um, I tried to get everyone signed, so if you guys can support any of these businesses, I tried to get either their their www.com or I tried to get their Instagram or whatever they had posted. But even if you don't see that, I tried to still get their name. Google it if you if any of them were interesting, and please look into them. Some of these places were close, some of these places are far. There was a place in Arizona, like where we fight. Um, there was a, a couple places in Sacramento. There was a couple places. Um, where did she say they were? Uh, Las Vegas, uh, out there was smoking them guys. Uh, the, the the spider lady, I think, and there was a house of chameleon or something like that. House of chameleon house or something. Um, what else? I saw two dudes from my old gym. One of my old jujitsu coaches. I think his name is Brandon. I saw uh, this, a dude named Bryce. Uh, if you guys don't know, Bryce has a fight on here. Go to the Fat Dudes Presents Bryce's uh, PKB fight uh, Underground Labs. Um, he's on there. Uh, Dizo Jr., uh, your dad, thank your, thanks to your dad for acknowledging the channel. For you, I tried to look for some albino geckos, and um, the other gecko he said, I didn't see it exactly, but I found as many geckos as I can, and I put those first, and I found some albino snakes for you too, uh, Dizo Jr. So uh, thanks to your dad for even acknowledging the channel. I know at least one person is going to watch. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, what else? Uh, my mom likes stuff like wood and stuff like jewels and stuff like that, like the uh, the the houses for the animals and stuff. So if you guys are wondering why I do that, I do that for my mom. If you're watching mom, I, I, I put the wood and stuff for you because I know if we were there, more than the animals, you would have loved the wood. My mom would have loved the little gems and like the little statues and figurines. She loves stuff like that. Uh, what else? Uh, okay, my favorite uh, was the was the white lipped island viper that was my favorite thing that I saw if you guys watch the whole show in the comment section let me know what your favorite thing was too um, yeah that's about it man enjoy you guys see you later
Instagram or Facebook? Yes, we want to get our card. Yeah, let me get, let me get that. I'm trying to get everyone's. Uh... Yeah, so can. You can take the card too. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, talk, talk, talk. picture of me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You have to get, got the information or, or, or uh, so business I, card or something? I don't have a business card. Oh, what's your uh, what's the Instagram or the uh... C Jones and L C Geckos on Facebook. Okay. Sweet, 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 yeah, just trying to get a little bit of everybody's thing. Love it. Yeah. Thank you. No problem, no problem. I'm with Street Beast. You guys ever heard of Street Beast on YouTube? I have not. It's like it's like uh, like you ever seen Fight Club, the movie Fight Club? Yeah. It's like, but it's it's not like you don't get paid or anything. Uh, I'm the heavyweight champion of the West Coast. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. It's it's not a big deal. I'm just saying. Uh, uh, that's that's where that's uh, my name's Dead Iris. D A T I T West. Yeah. It's like uh, so I have like, like a little channel. So I'm just trying to put it out there. You know, all the little bits and stuff. Yeah. So hopefully you guys get someone will hit you guys up. Hopefully. Love it. Yeah. Thank you. No problem, no problem. Thank you guys. Have a good one. Have a good one. You too. You too. All right.
300 bucks. Wow. What's this? Is this food? Is this food right here? What is this? Oh, this over here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, these are uh, wingless fruit flies. Or flightless fruit flies. And all these things eat them? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's their main uh, staple diet is fruit flies. What are these, frogs? Yep. Yeah, uh, just different types of dart frogs. Oh, you can buy these right here? Yep. Okay, okay. How long do they live for? Uh, so in captivity, generally they can live anywhere from like 10 to 15 years. Oh, 10 to 15, okay. Yeah. That's a good buy then. That's a good buy.
I don't think it likes humans at all. Okay. Yeah. Ready, ready to that is not the one that I would want to bite. Yeah. 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 I would want to bite that little tortoise. It's so cute. Himself, 
I'm sorry.
Mississippi. So we grow a lot of produce here in California. Now the farmers on their farmland, where they grow all of the food that we eat, they actually rely now and have been taught to utilize native wildlife like the barn owl in order to uh, have natural pest control. So it's become very common in all of the agricultural areas throughout California, if you drive by where they're growing, let's say, grapes or oranges or whatever, if you look high up on the property, you're probably going to see a box with a hole in the front of it. That's a barn owl box. So what they do now is they build these boxes, put them up on the top of the barn, put them at the top of a tree, put them at the top of a pole somewhere around the property. A barn owl will come and live in the box. That's great. One thing that's not going to happen is the barn owl is not going to bother your pets. Okay, that's not the misunderstanding. It is very, very uncommon for an owl to go after something like a dog or a cat. Because owls will usually not go for something that weighs more than they do. They can only pick up and carry something that is their weight. Now, that's kind of impressive, actually. I cannot pick something up and carry it that weighs as much as I do, okay? But the barn owl can pay, pick something up and carry it that weighs as much as it does. And this bird weighs about one pound. No one here has a one pound dog, okay? No one here has It's not something that you really truly need to be concerned about. Because if you encourage an owl to come and live around your property, what happen is that the owl is going to keep those vermin animals away. So if you have an owl on your property, that's going to keep away rats, mice, possums, skunks, moles, voles, all those animals that especially for farmers, they don't want them around their crops because they're going to destroy them. So it's a natural form of pest control by having an owl. In fact, I'm sure everyone here has been to like Lowe's or Home Depot and you've seen that fake plastic owl that they sell there, right? Everybody here knows about those things. That's, that's the same kind of thing. We sell these fake plastic owls for you to put up on your roof. That way, pigeons and other vermin birds do not come down onto your roof. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
stuff to do. Let's try to get everyone's little thing on there, okay. Alright. Where are you guys out from? We are from Mesa, Arizona. Okay. I just went out there, uh, I'm with Sheep Beefs, uh, we fight on YouTube, okay. and I was out in Arizona. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I think I was in, uh, I want to say Flagstaff or Barstow, I'm not sure if that's, is that Arizona? That's very far north. Okay, okay, yeah. I just went out there, my mom stays out there, and we had a little fight out there, so I, I knocked out two birds with one stone. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Right. Have a good one, have a good one. Instagram or the Facebook? 
Hey, how's it going? You guys have Instagram or Facebook? Or? Yeah, we do. What is it? Uh, GX3 Reptiles. And where are you guys located at? Here in Sacramento. Okay, sweet, sweet, yeah. sweet, yeah. We got shop just 10 minutes from here. Okay, sweet, sweet, good deal, good deal. All right, thanks. All right, looks good, looks good. Uh, everything looks good. Can I get a picture? No, no, no. No one else knows. With a picture of that reptile sign. Thank you. Or something with the information. I just want to get it for the uh, for the YouTube channel. Try and get you guys out there. I just want let me get the uh, put it like that. Yes, sir. Okay. There we go. All right, Ty, I gotta go over and get Blair. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, 
start out this small. See you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys ever heard of Street Beefs? What's that? Street Beefs? Yeah. I'm a heavyweight champion. We just had like a little ch uh, YouTube channel. Oh, no way. Yeah, I'm just doing some, we're trying to just get some footage for you guys. Trying that's to get it out there, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I have seen that. That's cool. Yeah, I'm the West Coast guy. <laughs> I'll have to look that up. What's your name? My name's Deaditis, D-A-T-I-T-U-S. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's a cool name. Trying to put everyone's out, all the Instagrams out there and all the stuff out there. Nice. Yeah. Where are you guys located at? I'm in uh, Orangeville, California. Okay. Yeah, right outside Sacramento. You got snakes all year long? All year long. All right, man, all right. Thanks a lot, you guys have a good one, have a good yeah, one. Take care. All right. No, baby? No. Oh, okay, oh, okay. No, no, yeah. No, you want me to take it out for you? No, 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 no. Um, I, I'm, I'm with the uh, Street Beast off YouTube, and we're just trying to just get your guys' Instagrams and stuff out there. And like, uh, you guys got a business card? I can take a little picture of it. I have, if, if that's the information I got right there. Okay, yeah. All right, yeah.
don't put me spacey, but I'm like, is that what you're giving me? Yeah, so there's a shin guard. Yes, and then he's got, um, like I said, he's got a beak, no teeth. Um, but that jaw is very powerful, so we can't basically grind and practice. Have a business card or anything? Like a business card or something? You have like a business card or something? With an like Instagram on it? I just want to just get it from my uh we're trying to put it all out there for everybody for all you guys, yeah. Let's see. Castles for reptiles. Nice, thank you. Thank you.
Can I get a picture of, of, of you? Hibernation. 
excavation. That is called estivation. So he estivates. He sleeps. He does nothing. He, he just stays under the ground. He doesn't eat. He doesn't drink. He doesn't move. For the entire dry season. And it gets dry. The ground becomes hard. It becomes cracked. There's no moisture there. And he's estivating underneath the ground. For up to two years. That's amazing. And then when it finally flips back the other way, and it's the wet season, the water starts, it starts to rain. Oh, wow, great, awesome. The watering hole starts to come back. The water goes down into the cracks of the ground. He gets wet. He can, he can move now. So then he digs himself out of his little tomb under the ground, and then he takes his little hands, and he kind of like does this, and he wipes that snot off of himself.
let you eat. I think about getting one of them corn dogs. Instagram or Facebook or anything? Oh, it's just the uh, Reptile Realms. Reptile Realms, right? Yeah. Were you guys in Sacramento or what? Uh, no, we're down in San Jose. Okay, so you guys have to come out here. We, yeah, we, we do our own uh, reptile events down there. Okay, okay. Oh, you guys have reptiles too? Yes. Just, I thought you were just candy, not just candy. No, not just candy. Okay, <laughs> where's, the, where's the reptiles at? Oh, no, no. But, during our own events, mm -hmm. that's when we bring it all out. We're oh. just promoting out here. Okay, okay, yep. okay, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm with Street Boots on YouTube. Uh, I'm the heavyweight champion of, of West Coast, and I'm trying to branch out and like get more stuff. Yep. So I'm just coming out here getting everyone's e um, Instagrams, Facebooks. Nice. Yeah, yeah, just trying to get it out there, yeah. Yeah, um, what, what is this? What's that, blue? What yeah, these are sharks. Yeah, I'm eat the sharks, man. All right. All right, sweet, thank you. No problem, have a good one. You too, have a good one. You guys have a good one. Take it easy, take it easy. Thanks for coming out, thanks for coming out. And then after 
after that, you know what they do? They dig. And then they dig some more. Now they're not digging for fun. The armadillo is digging these every night. Why? They're digging to find food. They are mainly insectivores. So they're digging to find worms. And they're digging more and more worms up. Now here's the thing though. This is critical because in the rainforest, what is there a lot of? Rain. Yeah, you all have had a lot of rain here lately too, right? And what happened to the roads? Floods. Because the storm drains, there was nowhere for all that water to go. This is nature's storm drain digger. Okay, so they dig those drains every night. They're digging new trenches all over the rainforest, all right outside of the rainforest. And those new tunnels provide an irrigation system for all of that rain in the rainforest. So they are nature's excavators. For sure, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm putting everybody's uh, Instagram and stuff out too. I'm with Street Beast. You ever heard of Street Beast on YouTube? It's like fighting. I'm a heavyweight West Coast champion. We have like a little channel where yeah, so if you guys are looking, I'm dead. My name's Deaditis. Yeah, D A T I T U S. If you ever look it up, yeah.
good, dude.
times as you have seen. I'm just going to cut down this way. Stairs are too much for me right now. Um, this is Eddie. We call him Eddie Spaghetti because he's like a big noodle that wiggles around a lot. Or Lightning Eddie because sometimes when he's really warm he gets really fast. Um, he is a California king snake. And if anyone knows anything about king snakes, they're the king of all snakes because they eat once. They eat other snakes, including the venomous rattlesnake. So we like these guys, we stand for these king snakes. We want to make sure that we have a healthy population of king snakes because they're going to be one of the predators of our venomous rattlesnake. So please don't hurt or kill a wild king snake. Don't hurt or kill a wild rattlesnake anyways, keep your distance. Um, these guys will help you keep those populations in check. He'll, uh, he'll eat, obviously, other animals as well. Small mice and rats and things like that. He'll eat other king snakes. There is no, like, familial bond when it comes to snakes. If a king snake happens to run across and meets their sibling, let's say, it is no, hey, are you uh, free this Sunday for dinner? It's more like, yeah, I'm free, I'm free for dinner this Sunday if you're on the menu because you're smaller than me. <laughs> so they will definitely eat each other. So it's a little bit of like a snake cannibalism happening, which is pretty interesting. Um, snakes are kind of the worst parents ever. They will lay their eggs. And I mean, the same goes with the turtles. They'll lay their eggs, they're like, you're on your own, bud. And then just leave them. And then they'll hatch. And it's really incredible how instinctively these snakes know exactly what they need to do. There are a few exceptions, because nature likes breaking her own rules sometimes. Where, let's say, rattlesnakes, they don't lay external eggs. They actually have the eggs inside the body. They hatch inside the body. The eggshells are reabsorbed into the mother rattlesnake and what comes out are live baby rattlesnakes the size of like a small like number two pencil. And they'll hang out with mama for about a week and then they all go their separate ways. So she's like a semi-good mom. Other than that, all snakes are bad parents. <laughs> um, Eddie here, as I come around for you to touch him, we're going to do the back of our two fingers. So fingernail side. So this oily part of our hand, and he's going to be meeting a lot of people. So we want to make sure that he stays kind of oil free as much as possible because it's kind of hard to give a snake a bubble bath. We'll have soaps, but you can't really scrub a snake very well. So as I come around, I'm going to uh, kind of guide you through. You're going to go down his scales in one direction, like the band. So one direction. And uh, we're going to go up his scales. Um, it's kind of risky about pulling back his scales because like pulling back your fingernail. The scales are made up of the same kind of protein in your hair and your nails called keratin. So you want to go down the body. So it'll be kind of obvious which way to go. I'll keep his head up and his tail down. And you're just going to do this. So just like that. And as I come around, if you have any questions, just let me know. And I will jump on this microphone. I will not force you, I promise. <laughs> he is a little bit cold right now. Oh my god, look at this. New skill unlocked. <laughs> Armpit microphone. <laughs> Alright. So back of your hands, turn your hand around, start to fly, and then go down. Ooh, good question. He does not live with other snakes. He is his own independent enclosure. Unfortunately, no. Just because nobody really likes their head touched without warning. So we're just going to touch his body. But thank you for asking first. So no, he lives in his own enclosure. So back of your hand. Don't grab. Don't grab. Yes. Yeah, there's other snakes that will eat other snakes like cobras for sure. Um, no, he lives in his own enclosure because I was a king snake. If there was another king snake, or another snake living in his shoulder smaller than him, they're, they're his meal. Um, and if he was a smaller one, then um, he can So we want to make sure that these snakes get protected. So the, all snakes have their own enclosure.
Oh, there he goes. Damn, I don't even see him. That'd be all bad right there if you were hiding. You see him right there? He's right there. If you were a rat, that'd be all bad. No 
parts of that, bro. Spitting covers, I'm good. That's all bad, bro. It's already a cobra. That's just unfair. How do you defend against that? <laughs> it's like, not only is this thing hella patient, it's hella small. It barely makes any noise. I was trying to get out, bro. I was trying to go, bro. He's, <laughs> he's like, I'm ready, sorry, I'm ready to mess some stuff up. I'll see this one. Uh, Northern Death Adder. That's all bad. Uh, Equatorial Spitting Cobra, bro. You don't want to mess with that, bro. You don't want to mess with that, bro. This is the most venomous snake in the world. That is? The Inland Tide Man from Australia. Australia oh, has all the most venomous You heard the man? He said it's the most deadliest snake. You heard him? Yep. The most venomous in the world? Yeah. One bite, there's not enough venom to go 40 feet. It's drop for drop. Venom. If you get bit, how long do you have till you're dead? They've killed in under an hour. Okay. But so as soon as you get bit, you're basically starting to feel it instantly. Yeah, almost. yeah. it's all bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What about this? What about the spitting cobras? They spit on their prey, or they spit to just protect themselves from? Spit on predators. That's what I was thinking yeah. to, to defend themselves. This one sprayed me yesterday. Oh, they'll, they'll just. Uh huh. That's all venom. Oh, so he was like, ah, like he was mad yeah. at you? Oh. Yeah, he just sprayed me right in the face. Oh my I god. Had on. Oh, so you already you're already yeah, prepared. Yeah, it's got to get your blood or your eyes. Oh my god. Wow. Where's Lola at? Oh, the king cobra. Oh. Oh. I'm going to come back and get that one. see him. Oh, there he goes. Man, that's crazy. I didn't even see him. He was right in front of my face, dude. That's how, like, snakes get you, bro. You look at that. He almost mixed in. Oh, that's sick right there. A white lip island viper, bro. I want one. Look at that guy, bro. He's beautiful. A boom sling. Oh. That's all bad right there, bro. You don't want no parts of that, bro. You don't want to mess with that. Look at that, I can barely see him. He's like, you know, look at that, that's insane. A rat will get a rat will get ate up by that thing, dude. Just imagine if you were a rat right now. You're just chilling, looking for some stuff. And this dude is just buried in the ground, just waiting to just snatch you, dude. <laughs> just snatch your whole world, bro. Chinese spitting cobra. Uh, look at that, bro. Oh man, that's insane, bro. Rub skill death adder. I don't see it. Look at that one, he's hidden too, bro. These bros are in hunt mode, bro. They're the big boy. King Cobra. Yeah, 
Triple B, triple B, shotgun, shotgun, boom, boom. Up in here tonight, and we finna do how we do. 